will proceed on vector calculus where full fledged uh, calculus calculus in full fledged it will be using vector one so that is the idea now replacing the algebraic equation what we have been seeing okay so calculus is a kind of game of algebra and algebra is game of slopes in a sense that derivatives and equations so algebraic equation generally it is formed with the slope if you know the rate of change then per direction per independent uh, variable if you calculate if you multiply with the rate of change then you get the algebraic equation whereas vector mainly talks about the direction and magnitude of energy okay so vector is a kind of a static thing whereas algebra is dynamic and calculus is dynamic that's why calculus is used over simple addition and multiplication so simple addition and calculus integration it talks about addition whereas differentiation it talks about pure division but sometime the a kind of the entity on which we are doing the addition they are not smooth like x square plus sin th sin x plus plus lo log x if that is the equation then how someone would do addition 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 someone can do but if it varies a kind of uh, uh, logarithmically or exponentially or in a polynomial fashion or combination of all then it is independent variable and what we get we call it dependent variable then through calculus so calculus is a game where we do the addition on algebraic equation and we call it integration anti integration anti addition anti multiplication is division or subtraction so that is the concept so now idea is that in calculus can we use full phrase vector which is static in nature okay through integration or uh, differentiation so that is the idea so we call it vector calculus now it is only possible when we come with the hybridization kind of model where we have vector and algebra both in a way that algebra we push inside the vector if we push algebra inside the vector then it is called parameterization parameterization so algebra if i if we see the closely then z if i say z equal to m1 x plus m2 x where m1 and m2 are a rate of change then z is nothing but function over x and y so if i have two independent components then i have z as dependent component and z is function over x and y fx but in vector we have separate x y z components so that is vector as if three vectors they come together and meet at origin and they go in a direction those three vectors if i add it in notation addition is not possible because they are orthogonal to each other then that is kind of uh, that becomes vector where it has three parts three vectors that combine together x y z now if it has three parts then there is no question that we can have three independent variable pushed inside a vector so more so architecture is at all different so x y z component of the vector is a static and there are two kind of vector one is position vector that passes through origin and or the origin and one point and there is displacement vector that passes through non origin point and another point that is also non origin so this is displacement vector this is or this is position vector but all vectors are position vector only we saw it because we do the different difference calculate the subtraction of two points and that get the vector it is equivalent to position vector only so we cannot do calculus on vector that is what we saw so if i have a vector point 2 3 4 if i have three vectors combined together called 2i plus 3j plus 4k if that is the equation of a vector then equation of algebraic equation we saw that z equal to dz by dx x plus dz by dy y that will come as 4 by 2 x plus 4 by 3 
why now in the parametric equation now we are moving towards uh, kind of introducing uh, algebra inside vector so vector is 2i plus 3j plus 4k what about pushing parametric equation parametric equation means a equation which has parameters like typically python function a function is a kind of computation unit which has a parameter we can push some extrinsic variable that will be mixed with intrinsic logic and it will return a result so so parameterization in the sense that each part of the vector x y z each part is now they are parametric equation they are algebraic so algebraicization whatever the term you feel better so algebraication algebra algebraicization or whatever so parameterization is same thing so now the x component that is 2 3 and 4 x y z now they will be parametric equation now so x component it affects x component is fxy so not possible because xyz is F, is anyway three components are there vector has three component as xyz then what is meaning of putting fxyz as x component and fxyz as y component and fxyz or gxyz and hxyz as z component doesn't make any sense right well anyway we have three components we already have x, y, z as separate component. Now each component will be dependent upon three environments. It is kind of weird. So now they introduce a single independent variable called t. t can be anything. Typically we can take it as time also. This is what we have seen. Okay. So now if x is x part of the vector that is 2i plus 3j plus 4k is 2t, 2t, then y part is 3t then z part is 4t so i can say 2t plus 2ti plus 3tj plus 4tk this is parameterization of the vector parameterization in the sense we pushed algebraic equation inside the vector where the independent variable if i say in algebra z equal to 4 by 2x plus 4 by 3y then two independent variable are there and z is dependent variable two independent dependent variable here t is only independent variable so in vector in x y z all three component t is only independent variable. otherwise x component is dependent upon t y component is dependent upon t and z component is dependent upon t so x y z is dependent upon t 2 t i plus 3 t j plus 4 t Okay, so that is vector which has algebra now. So 2t, 3t and 4t are algebraic equation where 2t we can say f, ft function over t and 3t as gt and 4t as ht. So now we have pushed very nicely the algebraic equation inside the vector. Okay, now question arises is so this is the power of algebra that calculus likes a mode because if algebraic equation our graph is based upon algebraic equation where the independent variable if we keep changing the graph would keep changing if independent variable are on x y plane if i keep changing x comma y then vertical would keep changing dependent component would be dependent upon the two independent so at each point on x y each x y we have different heights if I combine the different heights, all the points, then it would lead to a surface or all together it leads to a volume. Okay, whatever. Now, here, now we have parameterization in the vector because we are trying to simulate or we are trying to emulate the algebraic in vector. So, 2ti plus 3tj plus 4tk where 2t is fx, 3t is gx and 4t is h. 2t is ft, 3t is gt and 4t is ht. These are the functions in vector now. Now, another powerful thing that we see in algebra is we can shift the line. If this is origin and this is 3 comma 2, 2 comma 3, origin 2 comma 3 comma 4 in 3D. If that is the equation of a line, 
that passes from 0 to 2, 3, 4. This is called position vector. Can I shift it 0, 0, 2? So now it will get offset in z direction 0, 0, 2. If it shifts, then this is also shifting from here to here. So this point is now 2, 3, 6. So can I have an equation of vector that is that begins from 0, 0, 2 and ends in 2, 3 and 6. If I get the equation of the vector, then it will be 2, 3 and 6 minus 2, 4, 1. So 2, 3, 4, 1. So there is no displacement vector. All are position vectors, but we want displacement because algebra has that capacity. If I say z equal to 4 by 2 x, means whatever we had 2i plus 3j plus 4k, accordingly we have as a, a kind of in algebra, the surface equation is z equal to 4 by 2x plus 4 by 3y. If I say z minus 2, z minus 2 equal to 4 by 3x, 4 by 2x and 4 by 3y plus, then the line is shift is received one offset along z axis, z minus z0 equal to dz by dx, x minus x0 plus dz by dy, y minus y0. So, where x0, y0 and z0 are points through which the surface is passing or they are the interception on x, y and z, whatever feels suitable. Now, if it is passing from 0, 0, 2, line is passing from origin, if line or surface, if I shift it up, now it is passing from 0, 0, 2, then it satisfies that now x0, y0, z0 is 0, 0, 2. If equation is z minus z0 equal to dz by dx, x minus x0 plus dz by dy, y minus y0, then it will come as z minus 2 equal to dz by dx, that is 4 by 2, x minus 0, 4 by 3, y minus 0. So, z minus 2 equal to 4 by 2 x plus 4 by 3 y. Okay. Now, if that is the equation, then I can say there is a surface whose partial derivative along x axis is 4 by 2. Partial derivative along y axis is 4 by 3. And then, okay, partial derivative along x axis means the slope along x axis, if I see there is a slope. 4 by 3 means there is a positive slope. And along y axis, again 4 by 3, there is a positive slope or whatever. This is from me, y is negative. So, so along y x axis and y axis, positive slope is there. So, this is the equation. If this is x, y plane, this is the equation of the surface. Now, surface is passing from the origin. Now, I shifted it 0, 0, 2 up. The equation becomes z minus 2 equal to 4 by 2 x plus 4 by 3 y. Now, this is the new. So, if I see the algebraic equation, that then, depend, then relationship between independent and dependent variable is dependent variable can be related to all bunch of independent variable altogether. Z equal to 1 plus x into y or fx y z equal to 1 plus x into y into z if I talk in folding. Okay. So, that capability is not available in the vector. In a bunch, all three, all independent co component, we cannot bunch together. That's why we, we went for uh, uh, tertiary, third uh, 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 independent component that is T. So, T is bottom independent on top of which X, Y, Z are dependent upon the T. That is the new concept. Now, the idea is if in vector, if in algebra, if I have a surface and surface I can shift anywhere. So, but in vector we can't do. Even if I shift the vector anywhere calling it displacement vector, but they finally they resolve in the position vector only. But how we can do? Let's see. So, if I have a vector equation 2ti plus 3tj plus 4tk, then I can take t out. So, that is 2ti plus 3tj, sorry, t in bracket 2i plus 3j plus 4k. t into the vector. So, that is the parameterization in the vector. Now, this vector is passing through the origin. So, if I say t equal to 0, then it is null. That is not expected. 
if it is passing through zero it will satisfy zero also and it should satisfy two three four all now then when we are growing in high altitude area then one person that comes to help is is zero vector so zero vector is a vector that comes in for okay so that comes in for the help that is a zero vector so we will see the kind of zero vector here okay so we will see the concept of zero vector here now i have now a t in bracket 2i plus 3j plus 4k now this is the parametric vector equation now we will take help of zero vector so zero you are great you are awesome so can i say now zero i plus zero j plus zero k zero i plus zero j plus zero k plus t in bracket two i plus three j plus four k if that is true then this equation is same as t bracket two i plus three j plus four k now but there is difference as far as mathematics is concerned then zero does not contribute in addition zero contribute in multiplication but zero does not contribute zero may contribute in subtraction four then zero minus four is minus four zero can contribute in division zero can can contribute in multiplication but zero do not contribute in addition so whatever the we had the vector t to i plus 3j plus 4k now i can place in front 0i plus 0j plus 0k bracket plus t 2i in back bracket 2i plus 3j plus 4k now we have two vectors now if t is 0 then anyway we have 0i plus 0j plus 0k so it so our vector is passing through the origin if t is 1 then it is passing through 2 3 and 4 if t is 2 then it is passing through 4 6 and 8 these are not available in any of them repeatedly i am saying so now if it is 0 it is 2 3 4 if there is a vector in this direction then next half will be 4 6 and 8 here minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so t is minus 1 now we have equation of a vector that is 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k plus in bracket then plus t 2 i plus 3 j plus 4 k it looks like this is equation of a vector that is 2 i plus 3 j plus 4 k which passes through a point that is 0 comma 0 comma 0 now say that vector we want it to pass through 0 comma 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 comma 2 instead of 0 comma 0 comma 0 origin now it would pass from 0 comma 0 comma 2 so i will replace this origin vector 0 vector with 0 0 2 let's try so now i am saying this is my vector i want another vector that is shifted offset is 0 0 2 in vertical along the z axis so now i would say 0 i plus 0 j plus 2 k plus t 2i plus 3j plus 4k 2 vector and t multiplied this is the equation of a new vector that is called parametric vector algebraic vector that is a better term now that is shifted now when t equal to 0 then vector is at 0 0 2 when t equal to 1 then vector is at 0 plus 2 0 plus 3 and 2 plus 4 so 2 3 and 6 this is what we want when t equal to 2 t equal to 3 t equal to minus 1 everywhere you are getting 2 as offset along the z axis so whatever vector you are getting with the t multiplied by 2 i plus 3 j plus 4 k you are getting 2 as offset in z direction so if i have a vector that is 2 i plus 3 j plus 4 k and that is if I do parameterization, then it becomes t into 2i plus 3j plus 4k. 
and if I want it to shift it x0, y0, z0 shift it in a sense now rather than passing through origin it would pass through x0, y0, z0 then it will be x0, i plus y0, j plus z0, k bracket plus t 2i plus 3j plus 4j ok now we are in parallel with algebra this explanation is not available in any of the book anywhere internet anywhere that what is parameterization parameterization is nothing but the power of algebra that we are pushing in the vector why because vector has inbuilt some very clear cut technology like direction that is the best invention immediately you get the direction that is unfortunately not available in the algebra so direction and then you can do vector manipulation as summation multiplication dot product cross product those things are not available so algebra is good as far as as a kind of runtime variation is done is required means means variables are there and you can change the variable value or you can change the independent variable so if you get any equation any in for in term of x y z or whatever then anytime you can keep changing the x y z value and get get keep getting the value that is not there in vector but now it is there with one independent component t now we can do it shifting the line of surface is concerned then anyway now we have found it so x 0 i plus y 0 j plus z 0 k plus t and then into whatever the vector we had like 2 i plus 3 j plus 4 okay now can we break and combine it so it will become now that 2 plus x 0 2 plus sorry x 0 plus 2 t i x0 plus 2t in bracket then i plus y0 plus 3tj plus z0 plus 4tk okay so z0 plus 4t in bracket and k so x component is x0 plus 2t y component is y0 plus 3t and z component is z0 plus 4t here x0 y0 or 0 0 z0 is 2 so it will it will be 2 ti plus 3 tj plus 2 plus 4 t k this is full fledged algebra inside the the vector vector equation this is parameterization parameterization in the sense that we have pushed algebraic function algebraic function inside vector now F, f t is 2 t g t is 3 t and h t is 2 plus 4 t so these are the three functions in algebra there is only one function that is f x y z here f t g t and h t are three functions because three dependent variables are there to one independent variable okay so we are kind of done with the parametric parameterization in the calculus done in the sense there are many things like uh, calculation of uh, a derivative then calculation of dual derivative then kind of uh, then these are called velocity vector acceleration vector vector field and so many manipulations on vector field then kind of immediately after this we can have uh, examples or one example i believe i can take so like suppose this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis so this is y z plane if i talk about y z plane then i have to talk at what x value i am talking about the y z plane so x equal to 0 then at origin i have y z plane in the y z plane i have a circle okay so in y z plane if i have a circle and circle in the sense a particle is rotating in a circle and that it is rotating kind of clockwise with radius r then what is the equation in vector form i can say 
y square plus z square equal to r square. That is the equation of the circuit. But in vector form, it would come as cos t, cos t j, means cos t j minus, minus in the sense, or cos t j plus minus sin t k. Since it is in a y z plane, so i is 0. So 0 i plus cos t i minus sin t k, minus because it is rotating clockwise, it should rotate anti clockwise. Okay, so this is at point x equal to 0. What about I shift it to x equal to 2? Shift it to x equal to 2. This is x axis, this is y z plane. At x equal to 0, I have in y z plane, I have the circle. I have the circle. Now, this y z plane, I shift to x equal to 2. If that is the case, then it becomes 2i plus cos t 2i plus cos t j minus sin t k. If r is the radius, then 2i plus r cos t j minus r sin t k. I shifted it to kind of 2 in x direction. What about if I shift 2, 2, 2, 3, 4. So, x direction this much y direction this much z direction now origin is here earlier origin was at origin then or origin was at 0, 2 0 0 now origin at, is at 2 3 4 so it will come as 2 i plus 2 plus r sin t j sorry 3 plus r sin t cos t j 2 i plus 3 2i plus bracket 3 plus r cos t j plus bracket 3 2 3 4 4 plus r sin t bracket j okay so last will be negative so 2i plus braces 3 plus r cos t j minus 4 braces 4 minus bracket 4 plus r 4 plus i mean i'm sorry plus in bracket 4 minus r sin t and then j because sin t is negative so again 2i plus braces 3 plus cos t j plus braces 4 minus sin t braces k before sin t and cos t, please put r. So, r cos t and r sin t. So, this is equation in vectorization form where the circle exists in y z plane and origin is shifted to 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So, we will proceed on this. This looks inventive. And now life will be so easy when immediately we get the direction. That is the inbuilt power of like if I see the Python language then memory management is inbuilt no need to do allocation and deallocation reference reference counting and everything is inbuilt okay so and memory allocation everything is inbuilt then polymorphism is inbuilt to any level polymorphism is so out of 23 design pattern for Python, no need to worry about many, many design pattern where polymorphism comes into the picture. Because inbuilt polymorphism is there in the Python. Inbuilt memory management is there in the Python. Like that, there are so many things that is inbuilt in the Python. So that if you use Python language, that any way you get. So in vector, there are inbuilt power of vector. Like I say direction and those kind of things, cross product. At any way you will get. Whatever was the missing that was algebra and then offset placing offset in the vector that we have received through parameterization. So we will proceed in the derivative, uh, dual derivative and then we will proceed in the kind of vector field and those areas. So that we will see.